Hopefully you guys have been watching all of the videos because this one's going to be really similar to my last. This is called precise nouns. Last time we looked back at a couple of verbs that we called them blah verbs, they weren't very invigorating, right? And we changed them to describe exactly what it is our character did. Today we're gonna to go back and find some nouns that we could be more precise with. I'm gonna use a T-chart today to show us how to use this strategy. So a noun is a person, place, or thing, but a lot of times they're very broad. They're not specific. And what we wanna do is we wanna change these into specifics. So I have dog, drink, and book. So for the dog in my story, I went back and found that noun I could be more precise with. Instead, I wanna be specific. Maybe it was a beagle, like Gomer, or a Dalmatian, or a Yorkie. If you use the noun drink, could you be more specific? What were you really drinking? Was it water, orange juice, oat milk? If your story involved the noun book, we could be more precise and describe that book. Instead of just using the word book, what book was it that you were reading? Was it Charlotte's Web, Captain Underpants, A Bad Case of Stripes? Let's use this strategy of be precise to go back and find some nouns where we could get more specific. We wanna choose a word that precisely means what is happening in our story. We wanna choose a word that might be concrete. It means we're describing exactly, precisely what it is in our story. If you didn't get a chance to already, make sure you check out Invigorating Verbs. It's like the same process, except we're changing those verbs into something that's more specific as well. Thanks guys.